Hi and welcome to my living room. Today I'm going to show you how I transform my living room from drab to fab where I've created a bright and airy space that's perfect for relaxing with friends and family. Before we dive into the transformation, I wanted to extend a warm welcome to my new viewers who may have stumbled upon my channel. My name is Preeti and on this channel, I share my passion for DIY projects including furniture building, home organization and interior makeovers like the one you are about to see. I hope you enjoy this video and consider subscribing. Here is how our living room was when we bought this home. The theme, I would say, is a picturesque rustic cabin. It literally has rusted metal sheets on the ceiling, stone cladding, cement textured wall surface and vintage wood shelves. Dried flowers mixed with fake ones and fern hanging from a rusted metal gutter with its own metal drain. It's definitely one of a kind, sadly not my taste. This living room is in desperate need of a makeover. The dark and moody vibe has to go. I want it to be a place where I can entertain friends and family and also relax after a long day of work. The first step is to take everything down. I started by removing the fake plants from the gutter. Soon, my husband joined which did help. The plants were held in place with several floral forms. I then moved on to the other side of the room to remove the wall hangings and the vintage wood shelves. Rest were tightly bonded to the wall. I need a better tool to handle this. Meanwhile, Naveen was removing the massive wooden planks from the ceiling. Next was the metal sheets on the ceiling. They were held securely with several screws attached to a frame underneath. We slowly removed each of the metal sheets. Not everything went smooth. I still have the dent on my floor as a memorabilia. Other side was much more rusted and the sheets were in pieces in several places. We had to be extra careful. Finally, everything was down. 
I removed the stone wall and scraped off the cement that was pointed to the wall. Next, I had to make the rest of the wall smooth. The walls were coated with cement and had a rough texture throughout. I tried wet sanding to knock off the rough texture. Several minutes later, with a mild improvement on this wall, I still had the entire other wall to do. Yay! Fun! Next phase, applying drywall compound. I couldn't get the wall completely smooth, so I opted to apply drywall compound on this textured wall surface and make it even. Here are the tools I used. I will be sure to link everything down in the description below. I'm going to use the roll compound method here. I will get to it in a second. First, the drywall compound has to be mixed with water. Use a mud mixer which easily connects to a power drill and give it a good mix. You should get a smooth creamy texture like this. Use a paint roller and apply it on the wall. It's as simple as that. I then used a taping knife to level the surface. Note that I get several ridges as I do this. The wall is still coarse, which is causing the taping knife to bounce over it, causing these ridges. This is just the first of several coats. Here is a complete wall after two coats. And here is the close up. It's not perfect, but we will get there. I need to smoothen out the edges and the bumps caused by the edge of the taping knife. I bought this dust free drywall sander. It is no way dust free, but it did help a lot to control the dust. Repeating the same cycle again, mudding and sanding. I have to say I'm getting pretty good at this. results were very good. It merged well with the rest of the drywall and looked perfect. Next step, tackling the ceiling. I bought these 12 feet long shiplaps to install on our ceiling. Having already built accent walls with shiplap, I wanted to try it out on the ceiling. If you want to know how I built the chevron pattern accent wall, click the above link. This is part of my master bedroom makeover series. But before doing so, I need to smoothen the textured surface. I used a lawn sprayer to wet the surface, let it soak and slowly scraped off the pattern. It's a messy job, but using a bag attached to the scraper does make a difference. I then sanded the whole area. Once this was done, we started installing the Tongan Groove shiplaps. As I mentioned before, it is 12 feet long, which almost covers the entire length of the ceiling. I checked the stud locations and marked it, and used a laser level guide to help position the shiplap correctly. Everything seemed to go well till this point. Then the camera battery died on me and I do not have any footage after this. Due to some imperfections in the ceiling level, we couldn't properly connect the tongue and groove of the second board. 
tried flexing the board, used a mallet. We struggled very long before finally giving up. But hey, I used the ship lab to build an awesome accent wall in my office. Make sure to check out that video. I decided to apply drywall compound and paint the ceiling instead. Here's how it looks after finishing one side. To brighten up the room, I painted the walls with Whisper White by Bear. I used matte finish for the ceiling and satin for the walls. Now comes the actual fun part, furnishing. I wanted to keep it really simple, clean and modern. This room naturally has lots of light, which I like, but we need to soften it up a bit. So I added these white curtains from Ikea and white vinyl blinds. White curtains will diffuse the bright sunlight and brighten up the room evenly. I laid this low pile carpet on the floor and opted for a simple light grey couch and white single seaters to maintain a bright and airy ambience. Additionally, I placed a moderately sized indoor plant in the corner to balance out the colour scheme. To add a touch of visual interest, I paired them with patterned and textured throw pillows. I incorporated some of my previous DIY projects that were custom built for this area. To enhance the cozy ambience, I included a blanket ladder that also functions as a lampstand. To add some personality and flair, I included my first DIY project, a coffee table with a stunning gold and white epoxy top, as well as this DIY basket side table. I will share the links to these projects in the description below. To add a touch of fun and personality to the space, I hung this accent art canvas above the sofa. Additionally, I hung an oversized canvas painting on the opposite side of the living room. Finally, my favorite addition to this project is this huge 500 feet wide vertigo chandelier also known as the hat chandelier designed by French designer Constance Gisset. It was the perfect replacement for the previous failed shiplap install. With my 12 feet tall slope ceiling, it adds a stunning design element to complete the room's interior design. Even though there's no power source to the ceiling, I hung it as a statement piece. If necessary, we could add a battery-operated bulb with the remote. Enjoy the final shots. I'm really happy with how this room turned out. It's now a bright and inviting space that's perfect for relaxing, entertaining and spending time with loved ones. Hope you enjoyed this project. If so, please hit the like button and I will see you in my next video. Tata see you.